Hey, Mr. Truck, I want to fix an issue I've been having. Is it a mental issue or what is it? No, no, not mental. We have this brand new Chevy Silverado trail bus, but we've never really maxed it out on towing. But well, why don't we do a super hike today? Go up the hill, go down the hill, see what we do at maximum weight capacity. How about that? Let's do it. the tunnel yes we are <laughs> can you hear me I can hear you you know they change regulations in Colorado and we you know we're in a closed space so we have to wear masks that's true we're being legal are you ready for the downhill I'm ready man we don't get enough right gauntlets this is a super right gauntlet super right gauntlet which means we can do whatever we want right so we're gonna start the way we always do uh -huh. coming out at 50 miles an hour we're gonna count brake applications as soon as it goes over 60 miles an hour, we'll break it down. Yes. But if the transmission is not helping us, we're gonna go to manual shift mode. That's right, and we can do that on the Super Ike. Because we don't care. Okay, there's 50 coming out of the hole. We can get around this semi. We have brand new merchandise, which you can get from the Duck Company by clicking on the link below. Well, I note there's some three X's in there, because I'm dirty hairy, I need a three X. This is a three X. Okay. Can you see this mountain? No. I it's right there. Wow, I could use this on my sailboat. <laughs> so we're trying to let the truck handle this downhill, which is 7% grade. Yes. World stuff is towing test. That's true. There's 60. You want me at 61? There you break go. One. Down to 50. Will it downshift for you? Okay, one. Yeah, it's light downshift. What is it doing? Look. What's the RPM now? Yeah, it's jacking back up, getting close to three. It's right there, three. And the truck we're using for ballast today is our project Gunsmoke. It actually lives on TFL Classics channel, so you guys should go check it out. It's a 1989 Ford F-350 diesel. It's a 7.3 liter. And Mr. Truck, Yes. Uh, were you a grandfather when this truck was brand new? Oh man, I already had my degree in, in technology, my BS degree, I guess. But you know, this is what, a 7.3? Yes. Diesel? Non-turbo. Man, this is back before they invented turbos, I suppose. But holy cow! When we're done with this truck, which is really soon in August of this year, it's going to be auctioned off for charity for the children's home in Longmont, Colorado. So come back, bid on this truck, and help some people in need. A few of you out there would wonder why we didn't back the truck on to get some of the weight off the truck. Well, you want it balanced on the trailer, and if you take too much weight off, you're gonna have a squirrely trailer, even with good weight distributing hitch on there. So if you look at the fenders and the tires, we're level, and this truck is balanced on the trailer really well. Of course, the engine's on the front, so you are gonna be a little hitch forward, and that's the way you want it. We're not, I mean, the, the, the truck squats because the truck squats. That's the capacity of the truck. We're at maximum capacity. But if you would go the other way, you'd have more sway, you'd have a few other problems. So this is really how you want to load it. I mean, and we balanced it really well. And you can see how well the trailer is leveled out. So nothing wrong with the way this was loaded. I think this is the way I would always do it. Okay, so that's number six. Okay, you want me to pull it down to manual? Yeah, let's go to manual mode, because that's six okay. brake applications. There we go. Now okay. It's in third gear. It's telling me that. Well, can you go down? Can you select it manually? Go down? You want to go to second? That's, yeah, let's do it. Because we're 4,000 RPM. Let's, I don't care. Okay. It's blinking. It's trying. It's trying it's, means it has it, well, it doesn't. That means that's, it, it won't allow you know, it. hit the R limiter. That's what they're supposed to do. They won't destroy themselves. So if your next shift makes it go over red line, they won't do it. That's about their design. They'll actually, if you're getting too high RPM, they'll shift up a gear, which is scary. Because then it's all you and brakes. Okay, third gear. Yeah, third gear, but look at that. We're about Okay, 45. number seven. Oh, I haven't hit. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I got to hit them. We're 61. I'm watching the tack too much. Okay, so now at 50, can you downshift now? Oh, uh, let's try that. It's trying. Still no. It, no. It knows it's that not that, allowing yeah, you to downshift. It's going to swing up 2,000 RPM is what it's thinking. That's what it's thinking. 
well, we thought this would work. You know, this made sense because this is what we tell people. If you're worried about it, yeah. if you can't slow down enough, use the manual shifting. So, and this will not let us do it. So the only solution is to go slower, right? Well, so if you go to 45, potentially maybe you could downshift. Okay, should I try that? Because it's super Ike. We make the rules. Well, let's try it at 61. Okay. You may drag. I'll break it all the way down to 45 and see if that helps. Yeah, go go down further. All right, that's there 61. Go. It took longer to get to 61 that So time. go to like 40. 40? Holy yeah. cow, why don't I just stop? Is there anybody behind you? <laughs> no, no, we're good. Okay, there's 45. You can go all the way to 40? Down shift, try now. There. I see we got it. Ah. We got it. Now it's around about 41, 4200 RPM. This so is interesting, but so you know. Let's see if it'll hold us. These days, a pickup truck has to do everything. It has to go off-road like this trail bus is supposed to do. And we've tested it off-road, but it also has to do work. And this is exactly what we're trying to prove today. But Mr. Truck, this is a 5.3 liter V8 under the hood. Do you think it's gonna melt down on the mountain? Well, it might. You know, I worry about the transmission temperature. I worry about, you know, the horsepower and torque. It's not what a 6.2 is, but it does burn regular gas. But we also got that puny little rear end axle ratio, the 3.23. Yes. So that, well, all those things are working against us. So we'll find out if this can handle that Ike when we're with maximum gross combined weight rating, the gross trailer weight rating, the gross payload. Well, we got this poor thing. This is like the super eye torture test for this puppy. So we'll find out if it does all that, if we can keep the temperature and the transmission down and keep our RPMs up, it might surprise me. Which is right now, we're you know, around 4,600 RPM and it's holding at 45. I like this combination. Second is a good gear if you can get it slowed down enough to get in there. And we yeah. found he did it for yeah. 40 miles an hour. And it's basically holding us at 45. This is good. This is a good thing to learn. That in second gear, we can hold it about 4,600 RPM, 45 mile an hour. This is not going to wear out our brakes. We're not going to yeah. have a problem. I like this. How many brake applications are we at? So total eight brake applications. Yeah. But we played it around yeah. and learned a lot. And that's a good combination for people to understand when they're doing their own run down the hills with these big trailers. And we are, what we're, we're 9,100 pounds, maybe more with the tires. A little bit more, yeah. So maybe we're 92, 9,300. Yeah. But 95 is the max. So we're still not maxed out, even though we have you know, quite a bit of weight. All right, well, we're done. Let's go yeah. up the mountain. Let's go. You guys know everything about the Trail Boss. It's basically the most off-road worthy Silverado 1500 you can buy right now from GM. And um, it's got a two inch lip from the factory, which is good. It has these Goodyear Wrangler Duratrek tires, which is also good, although they're a little smallish at about 32 inches um, in diameter. But today's test, of course, is not about off-roading. It's all about how this softer suspension that's meant for off-road can handle towing. What in tarnation is that thing on top of the truck? Dude, this trail bus is part of our no pavement needed video series where we go cross country on dirt. And this is a roof nest with our truck bed rack and this is going to help us sleep on the road and actually go long distance overland style you're going to sleep on the truck in inside the tent oh all right mr truck yes bullseye are you ready to charge up the mountain 10 4 there good buddy all righty so we're gonna start like we always do it 35 miles an hour yes on the on-ramp but then because it's a super hike, let's try to use cruise control. Well, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I love it when there's a super hike. We can break all the rules and do all whatever right. we want. Okay, so you ready to reset the tri trip meter? Yes. Hit it! Okay. Put the hammer down. All right, the hammer is down? Yep. Okay, so we're going to go at 60 miles an hour, which is the speed limit, on the way up. Eight mile run. 7% grade, maximum elevation, 11,158 feet, like my shirt says. Yes, you indeed. See that? I like this thing. It, sh it actually shifts about 5,500 RPM. We're staying at 60. All right, set it. Set the cruise. Okay, it's it on the other side. this one. Okay. Oh, 
it's it's 61. 61. So we'll click down one. Okay. Nice. All right, well, let's see if it'll hold us, okay? That'd be interesting because, you know, in the old days, your cruise control, you couldn't use it in elevation because it would just keep shutting itself off. Yeah. This is the TFL Truck Test Trader they got this year from Iron Bowl. This is a very good trader. This has got the, you know, got the Gen Y hitch and all that, but this is two 7,000 pound axles, so we can go 14,000 pound gross on this plus tongue weight. And it's very big enough for the big trucks. This is an 18 footer. We're using our height adjustable steel heavy duty Gen Y Boss hitch. We're also using this um, weight distribution attachment, which also is supposed to help with sway control. And we got it as tight as we could. Still, there's a lot of squat from this trail boss. But uh, we're, we're staggered in traffic that's not helping us. These guys are driving a little bit slower than we are. And I'm boxed in, and there's traffic all the way back there. What do you want me to do? Uh, stay here for now. Okay, I hope we want to Oh, the guys. diesel is accelerating. Go, is, go, yeah, go. We're scared to dodge now. It's taking off. Go, go. Look at that. It's doing pretty good. Well, we're at 4,100 RPM. Shifted. Yeah, I did. Maybe it likes that uphill better than it does downhill. This is good. And guys, this is a summer day in the mountains. Um, it's almost, uh, it's high, eight, high 70s. Yeah. So right now the truck is saying about 78 degrees, which is for these parts, it's really warm. Yes. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go. Good what job. the hell good are job. we good doing job. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, Push, hammer down. We've been boxed in a lot today. These trucks all seem to work as a group. Good reaction. Is your hammer still down? Yeah. Well, last time we towed about 7,000 pounds with it, yeah. with this truck. That was um, with Roman, when we did uh, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. <laughs> yeah. And we did a fuel mileage run with you. Yeah. And we did a perfect run with 7,000 pounds, which was about eight minutes, one second. Well, you can't, that hurt, can't hurt, even though, you know, now we're, we're over 9,100 pounds. We're not quite to 95 the maximum. Man, traffic is heavy today. But we're, but we're loaded maximum on payload. Yes. And we're pretty much loaded maximum on gross combined weight. So, and this is not really a maximum tow package. I mean, this truck does not have that. Right. Because right. the axle ratio is not there, right? Yeah, that's true. So, so, so this truck has to do all things at once, right? It has to be an off-road truck, right. a play truck, and now we're using it for work, basically, towing. Let's see, let me go through quickly. You drive, I'm gonna use the temperature. Let's show the temperature on the gauges. Sorry, you yeah. can steer, you can keep steering. Let's see what the transmission looks like. That's the one I'm worried about a little bit. Oh, it's go. nice it's... and cool. Well, you're speeding up the mountain. Are you almost yep. at 60? I'm getting as close as I can, We're about 58. Are you going through the gate going 58? <laughs> yeah. Okay, something our, like that. Our chase truck is letting us in if we need it. Well, I'm still trying to hit 60, okay. so I'm staying on this runway long enough to try to get there. It may not happen. It may not happen. We're really right at 58. Come on, it's over four grand. Yeah. It can downshift. What? Ah! Yeah, a lot of squats still. It's almost 37 inches here to the fender with all the weight of the trailer and of course the tent on this truck. And that's almost four inches of squat, which is a huge amount. This truck is begging for mercy right now. But yeah, we're, the, what's good is it's holding 4,000 RPM. That's gotta be really close to what our power band is for horsepower. Yeah, and so, torque also. Yeah, so that's, yeah. yeah, we're past the torque one, so we are, she's giving us all she's got, Captain. Well, that's good. And, you know, this is exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to stress the truck to the maximum. Yes. And this is exactly what we're doing. Let me measure the sound, okay? Okay. Hold on. It's relatively quiet at 67 decibels. Yeah. So it's below 70. It's not the quietest track in the world, but it's still nice and quiet. And it feels like we're touching the bump stops in the back, so really? the ride is not perfect. What do you think about the ride? Well, I don't think it's hitting that hard. No, it's not that hard, no, actually. Yeah, I, I think yeah, it could be occasionally bottoming out of those big patches. Oh, it's slowing down. Yeah. 
rear. 205 was the temperature. Yeah, that's the highest we've seen it yet today. There we go, we're nearing the end. The truck is struggling, it can't go any faster. We're still at 3,500 RPM, so it's, oh. it's not lugging like we, we've lugged other engines up Okay, here so look at the fuel efficiency, and I'm gonna start the timer now. Eight minutes, 35. 3.6 miles to the gallon. So eight and a half minutes, that's not a bad result, actually. No, 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 we're maxed out the trailer. Woo, doggies! <laughs> now we're going downhill again, I might get 60. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So, Mr. Truck, the engine did not melt down on the way up. The transmission didn't melt down either. That was my worry. It did fine. We whipped 205 degrees at the max. That was very controllable, very nice. On the way down, total eight brake applications. Yes, and we actually did something new because it's the Ike Gauntlet, but we were trying to test a few things. I love that idea and some more new ideas on how to properly tow. Yes, and we're not scoring this truck because this is not a competition against other trucks like we always do for the Gold Hitch competitions. This is a whole new thing. But the truck, I think, uh, surprised me in how well it performed on fuel efficiency and the speed on the way up the mountain, which was only about 8 minutes 35 seconds. But the squat is an issue and of course it comes with that off-road truck. That's true, it's got that lift, the 2-inch lift, which what it really needs in the rear is a 4-inch lift. But oh well, that's what we got. But no, this truck impressed me too on the way up the hill. I mean, goodness, we was running 4,000 RPM most of the time. We had a little plant problem where a semi was trying to change all the lanes at once, so I had to brake it once, but actually it did pretty good. It held out really well. And this is a torture test. We were like maximum capacity everywhere. Payload, gross combined weight rating, trailer gross. It was amazing. We tortured the heck out of this little puppy. And guys, if you want to see more towing tests, go back to tfltruck.com. And where else can they go? MrTruck.com or .tv